da 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 ha, oh, ha, ti, da ha. Hey, internet, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed, sitting out here in the backyard, you know, hanging with Marvin and the son, oh, and some avocado, hey, gotta have my avocado, sorry about that, um, I'm letting it sweat with the sauce so I can have a little bit, look, look, this is a Tuesday, is it Tuesday, gee, I don't even know what day it is, I think it's Tuesday, no, yeah, it's Tuesday, damn it, I better look this thing up, hold on a second, I got Check my calendar. You know, I make my own calendar in my journal. Man. Let me see. Let me see. Yesterday was Monday the 15th. Yeah, today must be Tuesday the 16th. No, that's 16th. Yes. Yeah. No, not the 16th. Tuesday the 30th. 30th. Oh, the end of the month. Where's my money? Oh, sorry about that. I'm getting all personal. But as you know, this is, or as you should know, this is politics day. U.S. politics. I'm talking about U.S. politics. And, you know, all politics is personal as uh, Mr. Newey Fuller Jr. would say. And, um, well, just to review this, just, just so you know, so you know the, the series that you're in. On Mondays, they talk about myself. On Tuesdays, they talk U.S. politics. Wednesday, they talk world politics. Thursday, they talk <sighs> audio drama. And on Friday, they talk, um, uh, it's like a week rack up, week, week, they wrap up. Then Saturday and Sunday, it's like, boop, boop, whatever flies through my little, you know, mind, you know. And as you know, there's no edits in this. We just go straight through. So if AI wants to do something, you see some glitches or something like that, or you see some whatever, you know, then you know it's not me. It's, it's AI. Um, but since it's uh, Tuesday, the politics I'm talking about right now, it's not going to be your 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 mate. Yeah, I know the whole Republicans did, did their thing, and and uh, the Democrats as well as the uh, Green Party. Uh, uh, oh, in a couple of days. Well, in this month of that's coming up in August, going to do their thing in terms of the, the conferences or whatever they, they conventions, whatever they call it, you know. But they also have their presumptives in those two, so I don't know. I know that the Republican thing was pretty boring, so there ain't going to be no TV on this other stuff either. Um, anyway, I don't want to really talk about that exactly, you know. Now I'll get to my campaign, because, you know, I do have a campaign going on. Um, uh, but, but I want to talk about, like I said, all politics is local, that they say. Now, I vote in Virginia. And right before I left, I sort of signed up, you know, to be a poll watch, whatever have you. But you know, um, 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 <laughs> they sent me stuff back, but uh, you know, I just I haven't been there. And my sister, sister, my sister still sends me the, the ticket, so I don't know what I'm going to happen. Even if I get there, I don't know if I'm. I'll see what happens. Anyway, but what I really noticed that's when they was letting a lot of. Um, this was a couple of years ago, not a lot, but they were yeah they were letting some um, some immigrants, illegals, whatever you want to call them, some. People that, that 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 don't have the courage to, to deal with politics in their own countries, so they come here and to do whatever they want to do, send money back, you know, the whole thing. You, you know what it is. Anyway, seems like even that they can sign up and become poll watchers too. They can get into political things. And the reason I'm saying poll watchers, see, there's, I guarantee. Look, there's several things as a citizen of the U.S. of A. And I'm talking. I'm sorry. Talking about U.S. people right now. I'm not really talking. I guess I am talking a little bit about uh, other countries. I don't know how everybody's political system works. Uh, right now I'm in South Africa, uh, but uh, here's the thing: you got to take you, you get at some level. Now politics, like I say, is with, with, with like Mr. Daley Fuller Jr. says, it's, with, it's a people kind of thing, you know. So you have to, if you want to be a, a squatting in a country. Oh, I don't say that because it's not. if you want to be a citizen, if you want to truly say that you're a citizen of a country, I'm not saying if you want to come, you have the best interests, you know, if you want to overthrow the government, nothing like that. If you want to be a citizen. There's several things you have to do. Now, I myself, I'm what's called, I, I describe myself as a witness traveler, you know, so I witness things. But to witness things, you got to be there, you know. So even if you don't want to take part in politics, you need to at least go to your school board. But I don't have any children in the school board. Just go there and see what they're talking about. See who the characters in your neighborhood is, you know. Uh, and to say you don't want to do that. Now, polls, polls coming up, um, you know, the, uh, the the voting machine, the polls. They call it the polls. And I'm going to tell you why they call it for a reason. But even in then, you should take part just to see what, you know, the inside and outs of what's, you know, of the voting kind of thing. Uh, if you have the gumption, <laughs> oh boy, one of, the, one of them old timey words. Oh, the brush showing his age. Uh, you're going to, if you have the gumption, then you probably should, you know, somehow, um, uh, um, take part in a political thing in your neighborhood. Now, when I say political thing, let me put it this way. Uh, a couple of years ago, 
when uh, when I was stuck in COVID, when I was stuck in the states for COVID, I visited my best friend in St. Louis, right? And he and and as I was walking the door, there was this guy had a Trump flag up, you know. So I gave him a hail, you know. He called me over, and I started talking to him. He's you know he's reading the Bible and stuff like that. But anyway, I had, if you go to my YouTube channel, you see some interviews with him. But I talked to him, and he took me a couple of times to a Republican meeting back then. It was fascinating. That's right. I could go to Republican. Look, unlike some of you people will say, I don't, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do I wouldn't go to a rally because, you know, rallies or whatever. But a, a local Republican meeting, and they, they can't stop you from coming in. You come in, you sit, you sit down. You, most people don't say nothing anyway. See what's going on. You see lay the land, see what they, what they, how they think. I learned a lot from that. Oh, especially there's a, there's a couple of black people there. And, you know, black people, have they, they, you could tell when I came in. They would sort of give me the eye, you know how well, you know, if, you, if you're a new black person in a situation, they want to find out, well, are you going to take my place as the only black person in this situation? That kind of thing. Anyway, don't worry about it. So I did a couple of meetings. It was fascinating, including because they were, they were putting up people to run for something or whatever. And the, the kind of characters that would come up and then try to get the endorsement of this, of this Republican club was kind of interesting. Plus the guy that I was talking to was real cool, you know, because he was, a, he, was a, not a, I, he went to Harvard, but he didn't, I don't think he graduated. But he was one of those people that uh, uh, those people that got rid of the Republicans back then, you know, uh, uh, the New Gingris, you know, New Gingris kind of people, you know. The, the, what, what do you call them? The the, the the ones that got rid of all those 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 do not those pub they didn't those Republicans that they didn't, they didn't like, right? I forgot what the, the thing is called. I'll, I'll remember it, but I ain't gonna tell you. You can figure it out yourself because it's, it's past anyway. We don't deal with past. We don't deal with the present. So let's deal with the present. So what? So what you find out from going to these meetings, going to school board meetings, uh, going to um, uh, volunteer for ele electoral season, even even canvassing. Canvassing is great. I first started, and uh, I saw politics a long time ago when I said politics like, you know, like revolutionary kind of things, right? I can't read all the people. Who's, who's waving? Hey, I know that's, that's, oh, that's that's India, my Indian friend. Um, India like in, like in, you know, dots, not the feathers, you know. Anyway, that's the point. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've been active all my life, you know, literally, you know, since I was knee high, no, since at least, at least 14, 12, 13, 14, like that. But at one point, uh, when, oh, when Jesse Jackson was uh, looking for, when he was first coming on the scene, because in uh, that was 1987, yeah, I was active in his, I hope that was 87, you know, yeah, 87, whenever it was, I was active, uh, in, I was in the Lower East Side, so I was active there, and therefore I got to hang out with the, you know, with the big muckety mucks in New York City politics, you know, the, the, the club that, that, that Wrangell came from, uh, even though they were up in Harlem, I was down the Lower East Side, but, you know, um, it was the J. Raymond Jones Club or something, whatever that, that, that big thing. The ones that ousted, uh, was that ousted, Ivan Clayton Powell Jr., one of my heroes, and then replaced him with Wrangell, who, who basically sold you all out, well, sold, sold us all out. Anyway, um, so I was with them, and I remember one time, Denny Farrell, he said to me, well, you know, you know where to be a politician is. You see where the crowd is going and you jump in front of it. Just repeating what was told to be by, by a, a big-time Democrat official in a, in a big-time Democrat city and all the rest of that stuff. Um, so that, plus, I, uh, the one time, uh, 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 me and Preston Wilcox, we was the only people at this particular meeting. It was a small, I don't even know, maybe it was about four of us, five of us, uh, at the borough president of Manhattan, this, this was like in, uh, was this, uh, this either the late 80s? No, this was early 90s. And they was revealing, she was showing, she was revealing uh, uh, what Harlem was going to look like, you know. So all that, all those plans about, you know, the, 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 the unchocolating Harlem, <laughs> that was all laid out 10, 20 years. This stuff is laid out 10, 20 years. So you should take part in your local whatever so you can find out what's going on in your community that's your, your community i mean even now when i'm i'm traveling around but i try to get you know just find out what's happening in me I mean, I, I, I have find out what's happening politically in my little area just to know you know i don't i'm not an activist at any other places you know and i mean i'm not like a, a global activist i guess you know i believe in uh, universal citizenship you know i'm looking for the planet everybody else is doing what they do i understand okay let me leave that alone so what I'm, what I'm pleading, I beseech thee to get active in your local area to find, at least for your own knowledge, even if you just go to, there used to be a thing, my grandmother used to do this, she, you would go to court, and a lot of old people do this too, 
I don't know if they still can do it. You go to court, you just you're like, you're, you're like a court watcher. You just see what's happening with the justice system, see what it is, you know, like that. Those kind of civic things, that's what I'm trying to say. You have to be a civic person if you're in a civic situation. Now, if you run around all the time, that's something different. You got to do jury duty, which now gets to, now let me make, make this uh, transition. So as you may or may not know, I'm running, I'm, I'm running a campaign, right? And it'll step up, you know, after the Democrat convention. Well, after September, I guess it'll step up a little bit more. But I want you to uh, to write in, to vote for me. I'm talking about Americans right now. Um, in uh, in uh, in November, that first let me, let me look at my calendar again. I got. I want to make sure because you know, you know, politics. You got to check and double check. Or you be messing up, right? I got my calendar here. I look here right now. We're at the end of July. Or rather, yeah, the end of July. Was it August? Where the heck are we here? End of July is coming up to August. Uh, November, elections, November 5th. It's a Tuesday. They vote on Tuesdays in the States. Uh, I need you to go to the polls wherever you're in the States and uh, someplace on your ballot. And you can vote for whoever you wish. But there's got to be a place where you know either, you know, you said, I don't want to vote for any of these characters, or you say, like, uh, there's an initiative. There's a, there's, you always have a write in place on your ballot. I need you to write in. Reparations, that's my name, Anthony, Reparations Sloan. So I want you to write in reparations, right, on all your, on, on, on the ballot. Where you, where you, you don't have to write every, every place. Like on my ballot, I know I'm going to write, for president, I'm going to probably put reparations, and then for senator or whatever, whatever is running, whoever is running, I'll, I'll probably put uh, uh, end wars or something, something about war, and then I might see what, if a congressperson, I'll, I'll check out the politics, see if a congressperson, if I want to sort of give them a little oof, uh, to become a, 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 a political person, political animal, you know, later on in life, like a young person like that. So that's what I, that's what's in my head right now. But things always change, you know. We never know things can change. But the reason why I do that, you say, but well, you people say, but you wasted a vote. Oh no, people died so that you could vote. No, people died for my right to vote. They didn't die for me to vote. Anyway, that's not the point. Oh no, it, it, that's a, you spoiling the battle. No, you don't understand. Your voting, voting is nothing. I have to say, it's little. It's 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 of little concern to me. It should be little concern to you. It, it's it's really a poll. You're being polled. You know, like when you open your phone and, and you talk with WhatsApp and, and Zuckerberg gets your information and now you got the data to now to push, you know, to push products towards you and stuff like that. That kind of thing. It's it's a poll. It's an indication. But but the thing about the the voting in. Uh, this poll voting in, a, in, a, in an official election, it becomes historic. I mean, you, you, whatever you said, you said. It's not like when somebody calls you up on the phone, or even when they check, even when they check your data and say you're looking at a lot of porn, they think you're a porn thing, but you might be looking. I'm sorry, I'm going off again. You know, that might be a, a lie, or you might be that way. From the, but when you when you write down, when you write write in reparations, that will be a, a, an official poll. Right, so you can lie in every other poll, but this one you're being official. The curtain is closed, you know. Nobody see what you're doing. Can I tell you? In New Jersey, one time I was going, and they had, you know, the write-in thing. They had the pencil. The pencil was on a string, and it was like below the curtain, so they could see when you pulled up the thing to write something. I'm sorry, it's long. I went off again. Look, that's all I got to say. Let me just leave you at that. Um, uh, vote when, when you when you when you go to the polls in November. Uh, make sure you, uh, if you don't want to take part, or, or you you want you think you can sit on your hands and, and stay at home and not do anything, I suggest perhaps you should write, choose to write in reparations. And you say, well, isn't that a black thing? No, I'm talking about any anybody. If you agree that 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 a uh, uh, legacy, uh, you know, uh, 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 black Americans, whatever you want to call it, whatever we're calling ourselves these days, you know, American Africans who went through the whole the whole thing with the Jim Crow and the ding dang ding ding and you agree with that and you're and you're a fighter for that. You know, like like you're like a like, like a Malcolm X, you know what I mean? He, he had one 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 parent was 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 was, was legacy was was um, uh, was you know, went through the whole thing, the other parent from from Grenada, you know, that kind of thing. You know, you, whatever it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, so you 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 like, you know, Colin Powell, you know, one thing well maybe they both came from the Caribbean. The point is, right? You can support our our uh, reparations thing because remember, if uh, American um, um, uh, Africans, you know, black people, somebody like me who was an American African made in the in the Mont Haven section of the South Bronx of New York City, then you know if we get some money, 
and then we're traveling around. We now we have some money to operate on. And you know, all these other people that's coming in the country just getting money for nothing. They ain't go do nothing. They didn't change no law. They didn't even change, they didn't even activate for the law that got them to come, to, or the politicians that got them to come in. No, they didn't do any of that. They didn't get, well, up north, we didn't get our head beat in. But you know, they weren't down south, we, you know, all I'm trying to say is that if you agree with reparations, write it in. If you don't agree, well, it don't matter, right? Because I'm looking for the people like that. And oh, also, to my, um, you know, my uh, uh, Hebrew Israelite brother, whatever, 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 whatever brethren and sistren that say, well, we're not in that system, we don't, we don't want to vote. I understand. There was a little trap in this because if you register to vote, that means you're also eligible to be on jury duty. Now, you know how many people are locked up in jury duty, and I did jury duty one time. It was fascinating, you know. You could tell the cops were setting this person up, and I'll do you say, quit, you know. But you've never been to jury duty, or you don't want to take part in that process, then you never really know how corrupt the system is. You can see it right there. And anyway, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get off on that some other time. I just wanted to uh, lay this on a, a Tuesday state's uh, uh, no political discussion, not not political me uh, uh, talking at you. All right, okay. So talk to you later. I gotta eat. Oh my avocado, sweated enough. I gotta eat that. Talk to you later. Bye. See ya. Um, I would want to be here because I know you're in some very interesting places, but I got other things to do. Bye.